The latest Iranian air defense system, named Armin, has been unveiled. The Armin system is a mobile air defense system that is offered in two variants, one equipped with an active phased array radar and the other with a passive phased array radar. The export version was also marketed at the Army 2023 exhibition in Russia. This system is one of the few Iranian-made air defense systems that is likely capable of countering tactical ballistic missiles. Although the Bavar 373 also has the ability to engage ballistic projectiles, but no specifications of these capabilities have been released. In general, for a system to be able to engage ballistic targets, there are several conditions. The system's radar must have the ability to detect and track ballistic projectiles that are moving at high altitude and high speed, and the system's missile must also have both high maneuverability and high speed, in addition to a suitable engagement altitude. In addition to the main missile, the Armin is also equipped with a short-range self-defense missile. Iran's defense minister described the new air defense systems, the Armin and Azarash, as a great achievement in the country's defense industry. He stated that the Ministry of Defense has made all efforts to meet the needs of the armed forces by supplying necessary equipment and weapons. Both systems were developed by Iranian experts within the ministry. Their integration into the country's defense network is expected to significantly enhance its air defense capabilities. Here are the details of the systems as reported by Iranian state media. Armin. This anti-ballistic missile system has a medium range and high altitude. Cap this system belongs to the Talash family of air defense systems and uses the new generation of the Sayed 3 missile. The Talash family began its journey in the early 2015 with the Sayed 2 missile. The Sayed-2 is an air defense missile with a range of 75 km and an engagement altitude of 27 km. It was built by reverse engineering the American RIM-66A missile, which was purchased before the Islamic Revolution. This missile uses a combination of radar homing and radio command guidance. The Talash system uses a fire control radar with a maximum target detection range of 120 km and the ability to engage two targets simultaneously. Another variant of this family was deployed by the Air Defense Command of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. This system, while retaining the Sayed 2 missile, uses the more advanced Najm 802B phased array radar and is equipped with three four missile launchers, or a total of 12 missiles. There is also the possibility of increasing this number to six launchers and 24 missiles. The Najm 802B has the ability to track targets from a distance of 160 km and engage three targets simultaneously. The next generation of this system is known as the 15th Cordod. In addition to the Sayed 2 missile, it also uses the Sayed 3 missile. The Sayed 3 has dimensions and weight similar to the Sayed 2 and therefore uses a common launcher. The Sayed 3 has a range of 120 km thanks to the use of a more advanced solid fuel motor. It has been built in different versions with various active and passive radar homing seekers, as well as a version equipped with a thermal seeker. The Najm 804 active phased array radar used in the 15th Cordod fire units has a maximum detection range of 200 km and an optimum detection range of 150 km. It can detect 100 targets, track 6 targets, and engage all 6 targets simultaneously. It has been said that the detection and engagement ranges against stealth targets in this system are 85 and 45 kilometers, respectively. The next step is the Jushan system, which again uses the Sayed 3 and Sayed 2 missiles. The Jushan radar, in terms of manufacturing technology, is in a lower class than the Najm 804 radar of the 15th of Cordod system and uses a passive phased array radar. However, the actual goal of building this system was to produce it at a lower cost and to fill the air defense gap in less threatening areas. After a long journey of almost a decade, the Sayed Tactical Air Defense System, or Armin, can be considered the most mature system in this family. <laughs>
The first advantage of this system is the use of the new generation of the Sayed 3 missile, which is vertically launched, unlike previous models that were inclined. As a result, unlike inclined launch missiles, it has no limitations in terms of the angle of engagement with the target and can deal with various threats in 360 degrees. This new advantage is probably due to the use of the thrust vectoring system, which is also used in the Bavar 373's Sayed 4 and missiles. For this reason, the stabilizing fins, which were located at the end of the body in the Sayed 3, have been moved to the middle of the body for greater stability. Due to its vertical launch capability, we will probably see this version used on Iranian Navy vessels as well. The new version of Sayad 3 has a range of 120 km and an engagement altitude of 27 km against aircraft. However, the maximum engagement range of this system can be increased to 150 km in ideal conditions. The system is capable of engaging various targets, including stealth fighters, drones, and helicopters. Of course, due to the use of short-range self-defense missiles, it is also capable of countering cruise missiles at low altitudes, air-to-ground missiles, and airdrop bombs. Armin has three features that make it the most tactical medium-range air defense system in Iran. First, the system's deployment and operationalization time is less than five minutes, which indicates the use of powerful computers in the system. Second, the Armin system has the ability to fire in jamming conditions and continue operations in environments contaminated with radio interference and deception. Third, the command unit, missile launch platforms, and radar are all integrated on a single vehicle, which is capable of carrying out operations on its own. Considering the principle of mobility and reaction speed, the survivability of this system have been increased. In the fire unit configuration, this system also uses a chassis without radar or telephone, each telephone vehicle having six launch cells. A fire unit of this system consists of one TELAR and two TELs, which will have a total of 15 missiles. The system's radar, which is almost similar to the Najm 804, has a maximum target detection range of 180 to 200 kilometers and can track 24 targets simultaneously from a distance of 160 kilometers. The number of targets that can be engaged by this system depends on the type of programming, six targets at long range and 12 targets at short range. Another unique feature of the Armin is its special capability in detecting and countering air-launched anti-radar missiles. What would you like to see us tackle next? Let us know in the comments below and like this video if you're interested. And of course, subscribe for more.